If you're trying to detect a value within a range in Python, it might be useful to check out the multi-branch if-else if statement, which looks like this. There's if followed by an expression, and then if there's other branches that where there's more expressions that you want to check, you follow those with an elif statement. And you can have as many of those as you want, and it just keeps going down the list until it finds the matching condition. And eventually, if it doesn't find any matching condition, it goes to the else and runs the code for the else block. And, you know, let's try this out with an example, and I believe it'll make more sense. So let's create a variable called grade and set that to, let's say, 85. And let's create a multi-branch if-else if statement. If grade is greater than or equal to 90, print, you got an A. Else, print, you failed, okay, which doesn't really make sense because you could have gotten a B or a C, but let's just try out this basic if else. And it says you failed because you got an 85. That ain't right, you got a B. So what we could do is add another expression using an L if statement, and add another Boolean expression right after it. Grade is greater than or equal to 80. And if that is true, guess what? You got a B. We should also do this for C's and D's, right? So let's align that up. Make sure your indentation is it's on point, otherwise you'll get errors. So if you got greater than or equal to 70, you got a C. Or greater than or equal to 60. Oops, what's that? Then you got a D. And let's try this out. So we got a B. If we got a 79, that should be a C. And if you got exactly a 60, are we failing or do we get a D? So because it's greater than or equal to, got a D. And anything less, 44, failed the class. So you could see that multi branch statements are very useful in Python, especially if you're trying to do something within a range of values. It'll make programming a lot easier.